So we're gonna take a look at Z-Remesher inside of ZBrush 2023 and then compare it to Quad-Remesher inside of Blender 3.5. Let's see if there's any differences. Now this tool is made by the same person. ZBrush Pixelogic has since updated this. I've got this little character. I've combined all the sub tools and you can see it's just one thing here. Currently have, you know, 600,000 points. So let's go ahead and Z-Remesh. We're gonna keep everything default, Z-Remesh. All right, so we are complete. Let's take a look at the geometry. I did have symmetry on, so this did a very good job, even on the fingers. That is pretty cool. So let's undo, redo. Not a whole lot of detail was lost in the fingers, which is cool. Obviously we have a lower resolution, so those details are gonna get lost. Like we've got our high poly to our new low poly, but that did a great job with the nostrils. Great job all around. So let's go ahead and take a look at Blender. Okay, same kind of thing. I've got the quad remesher trial. I don't know if there's an updated version to this or not. Same model and everything, symmetry on, default settings. Let's select it. Actually, there we go, remesh it. Okay, so we are all done, we got it. Let's go ahead and look at the geometry. We've got beautiful quads throughout this whole character, which is awesome. Let's see about the fingers, undo, redo. So it seems like I lost a little bit more length on the fingers, not a huge deal. Um, that's interesting. I definitely think it took longer. And while you're watching this, I'll be able to tell you the exact time on screen, how long each one took. It looks like the nostrils didn't do a good a job, but still that is not bad at all. So yeah, results were definitely better inside of ZBrush 2023 than Blender. But if you wanna see why this is like the absolute best add-on you can get if you're a sculptor in Blender, watch this video.